Throughout the pandemic, I've been out walking the streets, talking to people about the pandemic, COVID-19, the science behind vaccines, and I hear a lot of misinformation. So if you get a COVID-19 test, what does it mean if it's negative? That means you got a problem that you need to go to the doctor and see what's going on. I know there's a lot of confusion about what these tests are, what they mean. PCR, rapid test, antigen, lab testing, home testing, it's a lot of jargon. When you do a COVID-19 test, what do you need to know about the result? If it's negative, that means you don't have COVID-19, or at least that test is not picking it up. If it's positive, that means coronavirus is in your body, there's genetic material associated with coronavirus that's been picked up on the test. So she just got a little mixed up. Could it be personally? I don't know if it's real. <gasps> okay, millions of people have died from COVID-19 and we still have people who are questioning whether or not COVID-19 is real. It just shows how much distrust we have of the government, of healthcare, and science. We've got a lot of work to do. Usually vaccines kind of take a while and they kind of like do a little more research. This is the most common reaction I get to the vaccines. Why do we have vaccines so quickly? Number one, the government eliminated the bureaucracy and paperwork. It usually takes many years, and when you eliminate that, we can go a lot faster. Messenger RNA, this is the first time we've successfully used it in a vaccine, but it's been studied for 30 years on other vaccines like Ebola and Zika. Also, many people signed up in a hurry to be in these studies, and it usually takes years to get enough people to participate in research studies. And finally, we're in a global pandemic, so we needed to move quickly. What do you think about the COVID-19 vaccine? I'm skeptical about it because it's got to have some years in trial before you can just know what will happen in the two, three, three years from now after you take the uh, test. We are holding these vaccines to a different standard than all other medications and vaccines. And we need to talk about why, because these vaccines are overwhelmingly safe. Do you want to get the vaccine? At no time, I'm good. Why not? Why should I get something down? I don't know the side effects. I might die in 30 days. Whoa, he doesn't know the side effects and he might die in 30 days if he gets the vaccine. Where is this misinformation coming from? There's something called the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System. You can put a case report there, you can report your symptoms there, you can report hearsay there, and no one's going to call you and check the information. This misinformation is coming from people putting reports, false reports about deaths from the vaccine on the website. What questions do you have about the vaccine? What's the side effects? What do it does? There's no way to predict who's going to have what side effects. There are all kinds of side effects, not just from vaccines, but from medication. But from the COVID-19 vaccines, you can have no side effects, all the way to side effects I had from my vaccine. I was in bed, achy with a fever for almost eight hours. But then after that, it was gone. And for me, that was better than getting COVID-19. Who took it and they still alive? Me, I took it and I'm still alive. There are so many people, hundreds of millions of people have taken these vaccines and they are still alive. Even those who've gotten vaccinated, gotten boosted and gotten COVID again, they didn't have to go to the hospital. People are not dying of COVID-19 if they're vaccinated. And if that happens, it's very rare. So you was a crash dummy and you took that test. <laughs> He's calling me a crash dummy because I told him I participated in the research trial. And I did that because I wanted to show other black people that there were people like me who believe in science and understand the science willing to raise their hand and be in the study. I got the vaccine. And do you know where to get information about the vaccine? I can Google it. I can get it from my healthcare provider. Uh -huh. There are lots of places to get information about the COVID-19 vaccines including right here on our YouTube channel. So have you subscribed? And if you have questions we haven't answered, leave them below so that we can get to your comments or text your questions to Grapevine Health.